Hey guys, I'm Jim. I edit photos. Thanks for stopping by. Today I'm in On One Photo Raw 2021 and I'm having a, just a go at a street photo that I took in Reykjavik, Iceland of all places. Not exactly the sort of town you think of when you think of street photography. You're thinking New York or London or whatever and obviously cities like that are fantastic for it. But there's some beautiful little streets in Reykjavik and this one in particular, let me show you, is just fantastic. You've got that church that has this really long name with a bunch of letters in it that I can't pronounce. Anyway, you have this like rainbow path leading to it. It's just fantastic. And what I want to do here is just kind of amplify this scene. And it's really quick and easy. Just a few minor moves that really allow you to get a lot of impact in the photo. Let me show you what I started with. Of course, I did crop this, but that's what it started with before I did a few things here in develop, which is a little contrast, a little highlights, a little shadows, and uh, added some structure and took down the temperature, increased the tint. So one more time, I started like that. Again, not including the crop, but that's what it was like before. And that's where I am now. So really, honestly, a few simple moves here in the develop pane uh, have already gotten me a much, a much better looking photo. But of course, the first thing I wanna do is go into local adjustments. And what I wanna do here is create a luminosity mask. So let me click view. So you can see that I just love the luminosity masks here. And what I want to do is get these levels to where they're going to basically help me impact primarily the sky. Now I'm not going to get rid of the stuff over here in the windows and that yellow, that's the yellow um, little uh, stripe. Let me show you that. That's the yellow stripe kind of down the center. We're going to play with that in a minute because it, it is the key leading line and it, I just think it makes the photo pop. But here we go. There's my local adjustment with the luminosity mask. And now what I want to do is just make a few adjustments here. So again, I've uh, this is for the sky. And so I'm going to take the exposure down slightly. I'm going to go down about a, a 0.4, nothing major. I'm going to take the highlights down slightly. I feel like the sky is just a little too bright. I am going to take the temperature down slightly. I don't want the whole scene to be uh, overly blue, but I do like bluer skies, especially uh, something like this, which is at blue hour. As you can see, there was no real sunset, but it's just... Uh, I just love photos like this, to be honest. I could wander European cities, honestly, for the rest of my life, just snapping photos like this. I just absolutely love it. So if I turn this off, you can see the before, primarily, again, in the sky, and a little bit of some of the brighter parts in the shop windows, and then after. There we go. I think uh, I've isolated that sky quite well. And now I'm going to go in and create a new luminosity mask for a second adjustment. Let me reset that exposure. Let me go ahead and create luminosity mask. I'm going to invert it. Let me click on view. And what I want to do here is just kind of move these things around. And I got to look at my notes, but basically I ended up creating something that looked a little bit like uh, this. So remember white reveals black conceals. So my mask looks like that. So these edits are going to apply where it's white, which basically means they're not going to apply in the sky. And by the way, do you notice those tree branches, how good this tool is at just isolating uh, the different parts of the photo? It's just, it, honestly, it's kind of mind blowing to me. I just absolutely adore that. Um, and what I'm gonna do here is increase the exposure because I want better visibility into this street scene. So maybe, you know, maybe about like that, I am gonna add some contrast. Of course, structure's gonna go up. It is a bunch of concrete. And in my opinion, uh, that stuff just needs to be a little bit crunchier. And I am gonna add a little bit of vibrance as well. I'm going to go to about 10 or so. I don't add saturation because there's a lot of color. I mean, you've got all the colors in the street, that red building on the left. You've got, you know, orange and red in some of the streets, uh, you know, uh, street uh, shop windows, I should say, on the left. So I just don't want to overdo the color. And also, if I increase saturation a lot more, that blue is going to come through. And I feel like I've got enough blue in the photo. So I just kind of want to leave that alone. So I think I'm looking good there. And now a couple of simple things in effects. It's just going to take me home. So first is going to be sunshine, and it defaults to 50, and I'm going to pull the opacity down to about 70. And I know it's a blue hour photo. There's no sun. I mean, this is Iceland. There's no uh, sun in, in winter, I might add, in uh, February of last year. Uh, but the sunshine filter, it really pops a little bit of contrast, pops a little bit of that color. And so if I turn that off, you can see it's a little bit tamer, a little bit more muted. And then when I turn that back on, it gives it a nice little bit of pop. I just, I love that filter. I use it all the time. Next is going to be color adjustment. And this is where I'm going to play with that yellow. I'm going to go into that yellow channel itself and go straight to saturation. And I'm going to bump that up a bit because to me, that is like, you know, follow the yellow brick road home, Dorothy. That is your way to the promised land, whatever you want to say. It is the key leading line, in my opinion. 
that sticks out on this uh, street. And I love that it's kind of centered. I, I stood off center, so it's not perfectly centered in the photo, but it's centered in terms of you know the different colors kind of. Um, but the thing I like about it is that yellow, it kind of makes me notice the yellow uh, orange that's in the other shop windows. And so you've got that isolated line of yellow, and then you've got some similar yellows kind of oranges off to the other side. But if you notice, um, those shop windows are actually more orange. So when I turn this off, you can see they don't change significantly. And I turn that back on. I mean, a little bit on the twinkly lights over there on the left, but I don't see a big burst of yellow coming through those. It's actually more orange. If I were to go to orange and increase that, you would see more of that coming through, right? So I don't want to do that. And in fact, now that I'm here, I actually think I'm going to take the orange down a little bit because I don't want to distract the viewer's eye from that yellow line. To me, that's a leading line. Like I said, you know, take me, uh, take me home or whatever it is. So if I turn off this color adjustment, there it is before and there it is now. And in fact, I might go back to yellow and actually add a little bit more saturation. I know it's bright and powerful and colorful, but like I said, it's dragging you into the photo. And I think um, it works for me at a high saturation level. And then for vignette is really my last thing. I'm just going to take this brightness down. I'm going to do something about like that. Size is going to go up. I don't want it to be too tight. So I'm going to do maybe something about like that. Um, I like feathering. So I'm going to go to about 100. And the roundness, oops, excuse me. I'm going to go to the right, you know, maybe about a 15 or so. And, you know, honestly, the, the center is placed. Let me try it a little bit lower. Uh, that works fine. I think that's fine. So let me turn off the vignette. There it is before. And there it is after. I like that quite a bit, my friends. Let me show you the base photo. There it is. I mean, fairly muted. Again, raw files look that way, right? You're missing detail. The colors are muted, things like that. Raw files have to be adjusted in order to look either the way they actually did look, or in my case, most often, the way I want them to look, which is with a bit of editing, which is kind of why I'm here. So there it is before, and there it is after. And if I drag the uh, sliding window, you can see that we've had a massive, massive impact and now that I see that, I actually might go in to this color adjustment and go into the blue. And let me click on blue. I actually might pull that saturation down a little bit. I don't want to overdo the blue. I mean, it was blue hour. Everything looks kind of blue at blue hour. It's my favorite time of day to shoot in cities. I absolutely love it because I love that contrast of the warm, yellowy, orange light coming out of the stores and the blue uh, kind of mood that's uh, elsewhere in the scene. So I, Blue hour in the cities, uh, that's just the best, I think. So anyway, so I've taken the blue down a little bit now. There it is before and after color adjustment. And once again, the before and after for the entire photo. Let me do this sliding window. Very impactful, very dramatic, very fun, and frankly, very quick and easy to do. And that's how I did this one in on one, my friends. Hope it gives you some ideas on ways you can use some of these tools and filters to just come in and really quickly have a huge impact on a street photo. Just, you know, for me, it's about finding the lines or the colors, in this case, a line with color, to kind of draw the viewer into the photo. I try to do that with my street photos. I would like to get better at it. I'm, I'm okay, but I feel I always feel like I, there's better things I could do or better compositions or whatever, but that's one of the things I'm thinking about when I'm taking a street photo is what are the lines or what's the destination? In this case, you have a line leading to the destination. And of course, are there colors and light and that sort of thing that can help impact the overall viewer experience, for lack of a better word. That's how I did this one. One more time, there it is before. Kind of boring, kind of flat, but potential, right? That yellow line to me that just really draws you in. And after, much more vibrant, much more fun. Hope it helps. Hope it uh, gives you some ideas, my friends. And thanks for stopping by. Hope you're doing well. Take care of yourselves out there. Have fun editing. I'll see you in the next video. And adios.